Hello and welcome everybody, HKD stock on 11 January. So let's start with the steps in this video about how can we uh, indicate that AMTD digital stock will be very important thing that can be mentioned in every time or any every single day that we want to have our score in. And let's start with easy steps. So we can have here three hours update as we can see here one day update so if we think about that it's going to be okay the journey of hkd in this series so amtd digital can be called hkd and since we can see that kind of movements okay since it started on 15 july on this um, okay this usd value 16 usd so it increased a little bit on 22 july and this was on 2022 so it was a thing that is can be called a single spike or maybe a small spike and increase and it increased actually by 40 usd so it became about 56 usd and then it can be very nice and very important 163 so that was also and that was very good investment for these uh, days on july because this is what this was a, a month that is going to make a thing that is going to be ready for august uh, okay and then in august it made okay one august this is bike okay about maybe it increased by 300 or 400 usd every day this was very good investment so it then it went to for to august on 1700 for and then it decreased to the same value maybe it increased by the values but it's going to be higher than the value that it was on the start on the last um, okay maybe it was uh, higher a little bit from the start of the last part that it could make this candle increase in value from this part to this part so this value is going to be about higher than this value and then it went about to be this like this in this form so the same manner could be a decrease as we could explain in this increase so since we can say that also we have about 192 so this may be also a part where we can have it uh, in this green candle form so we can say that also um, in our considerations that HKD is such a thing that is going to be very important to be explained for every trader or everybody who wants to start on a stock so we can have our uh, okay probability to see that this is going to be HKD movements in this series uh, in 4 hours update maybe 3 or 2 hours in this line so let's see, go for that part that we wanted to have our uh, going to be a play here so we can say that this is a part where we can have the thing that is going to be very important and very serious so this is about to be a thing that is on going to be on HKD and this will give us a thing that is making an increase so that is a thing that is going to be very uh, important thing to be about on HKD so if we went to 4 4 hours update here it seems that is going to be making a thing that is going to give indication a details is going to be making a bearing a little bit if we went for 1 hour it gives us this form but the best form it will give us the details is going to be about on three minutes update okay however 
it can help us to make a such an investment every three minutes in this form so let's see why we could see this kind of movement in a spike from 5 january to this level so i think it was a good such indication that from 37 usd to 13 usd or 14 usd in decrease in momentum okay if we subtracted 14 from 70 uh, from 37 it will give us about 32 so that means the decrease in momentum or in value by 23 usd in only one week so i think it's going to be about a decrease in momentum uh, okay by three every single day that is actually the thing that we should take care about when we can have our bar in investment so i think it's going to be an increase in momentum then we can say that the increase will be in cases or in cons conditions so since we can see the first condition when we can explain this and we can say that we can explain this too so it's going to be a thing that is going to be having this trend line here and then increase and that is actually the thing that is going to be very fine and very important for traders to see that this is going to be a thing that is very important to see uh, something that is uh, very um, uh, good about it to make an increase like this because since we can have this trend line here in the horizontal form it can give us this circle in the part where we can say that it's going to be not about uh, a thing that it has uh, waves but it has an absence of waves that is because this is part where it has stopped trading okay it's time where it has stopped trading here okay about three minutes maybe it uh, forgot to make a connection between this wave and this wave so the result would be for the increase in momentum if we say that the part where we can have it a uh, minimum movements maybe it can reach about this form here okay this is going to be the minimum value on hkd in all movements and that is thing that is actually very good indication about what we could explain and see you next in another episode about hkd